to create the practical and hands-on learning opportunity for our students who are part of the battery management system algorithm development course at Decibels Lab. We have created an extensive offline lab facility to engage the hands-on learning experience. As a part of this lab, we have the cell cycler machines. We also have the thermal chamber as well. As a part of the cell cycler machines, our learners are able to conduct various different type of experiments to understand and study the characteristics of the lithium ion cells. In such a way that we can conduct the aging test to study the aging characteristics of any specific chemistry or a specific cell. Also, we can conduct the various charging, uh, charging of the cells and also discharging of the cells at a different series. So we can get to know what is the charging efficiency, also the discharging efficiency of cells as well. In the same way, we can also study the various characteristics by conducting the HPCC test as well. As a part of the HPCC test, we can we are able to evaluate the resistance of the cell and also the various parameters that are used for the equivalent circuit voice modeling of the cell as well. In continuation to this lab facility, so we also have a thermal chamber. As a part of this thermal chamber, so where we can conduct the cells experiments at a different temperature ranges. This equipment that we have here today can operate between minus 20 degrees Celsius up to plus 80 degrees Celsius and also control the humidity at different ranges as well. If you see the whole facility, we have the cells that have been kept here, so which we can use them as a part of the cell holding device and can connect those all the cells back into the data equation system as well. So when we use the thermal chamber to study the various different ranges of the temperature, so what we can actually do is, so we can study the charging characteristics, all the discharging characteristics, or also the various different other characteristics of the cell at a various specific temperatures. Such a way that we can get to know, doing, with respect to the ambient conditions of the uh, environment, maybe it is minus 10 or a plus 80 degrees Celsius, we can get to know how much will be the ability of the cell to give an output, or what will be the ability of the cell to retain its charging capabilities in place. So in this way, this lab will help the learner to understand the characteristics of the cell, and also to understand its behavior at the various different temperature conditions as well. So when you engage with the practical learning experience, you get a complete confidence to know the cell characteristics and its behaviors for any given conditions. That's how this testing can give you the data. And with that data, you're able to use them for the purposes of SOC estimation algorithms or SOH estimation algorithms or any type of algorithms that is required to be developing the algorithms for the battery management systems. In the overall way, you get a confidence when you come to the offline facility to know about the cell and to study about the cell as well. Thank you.